Lie number six, blood money. The Merriam-Webster dictionary calls money obtained at the cost of another's life, blood money. Abortion is the intentional killing of babies. Who profits? Abortionists. Capri's recommendation that the killing of babies be prioritized public policy will profit abortionists and taxpayers will have to pay for it. Capri wants you to pay blood money to the abortionists for taking the life of your fellow citizens. Who else profits? Well, Capri has. They received money from the European Union to carry out this study. They have taken blood money. In fact, their study shows a before-the-fact commitment to justify abortions at all costs. But not just abortion of any baby, but the abortion of poor Jamaican babies. The Capri has made its target the demographic of poor women and poor children only. This is a red flag signaling the worldview. That is the philosophical mindset of Capri. The appropriate name is eugenics. Capri has made itself a voice piece for this most vile ideology, the classist and racist belief that some babies are more valuable and superior than other babies. Eugenics dictates that inferior babies should not be conceived, and if they are, they should be aborted. Eugenics says that inferior babies are the babies of poor girls and women, or so-called unplanned, unwanted babies. Eugenicists argue that the poor should use birth control and if it fails, follow up with abortion. The truth is, eugenicists don't want to eliminate poverty. They just want to eliminate the poor. This is poricide, the strategic, institutionalized genocide of the poor. It is interesting to note that the lead researcher in this Capri study is Sarah Maria Viri, a researcher from the EU. She's also the lead researcher in another EU-sponsored Capri study entitled The Economic and Societal Cost of Sexuality-Based Discrimination in Jamaica. Another study full of flawed arguments, distorted definitions, and bad conclusions. We don't know Miss Viri, but what we do want to know is what exactly is the role and aim of the EU in the propagation of these two studies. Is this another platform for white Europe to get poor black nations to destroy themselves? Is this another example of cultural imperialism, the imposition of foreign ideology and the culture of death that the EU itself is dying from? We don't want it. We want to preserve life. Who else profits? Sexual predators, pimps, traffickers, whose abuse and crime will be covered up thanks to Capri and fathers who want to escape responsibility. Capri places sole responsibility for childbearing and rearing on the mother. Silence on the role of the father. Who will not profit from abortion? The poor vulnerable woman who Capri says it wants to help out of poverty. No poor woman ever became wealthy by killing her children. Abortion would make her poorer from the various physical and emotional harms caused by abortion. Abortion stands for eugenics. Abortion stands for racism and anti-womanhood.